sure that I can find it. Christmas of last year, so December 2018, we decided to get a family milk cow, or decided we'd get a family milk cow at December. Um, we ended up picking up a pair of jerseys in March of 2019, um, and one of them uh, was bred and gave us this calf, Willow. Uh, we ended up putting two calves on her uh, for the summer, Willow and one of our Charlotte crosses, Jack Frost, because his mother, Jack Frost's mother, didn't have any milk. Uh, then it ended up that the Jersey mother got sick and we had to uh, ship her off the farm. Uh, so now we've essentially got two orphan calves um, this year. So we ended up not milking Willow's mother because she wasn't really producing uh, as much milk uh, as we felt she should have been at the time. Uh, so uh, our first attempt into a family milk cow um, wasn't the most successful. We did get Willow, who was a heifer, so we were fortunate that way. Um, and we will wait but another... But that's, that's kind of the thing, right, it, that, we've, that we've been learning, is that you can have a great idea about how things are going to play out, but they don't always... or this year, they have not gone necessarily the way we had envisioned them going. Yeah. So, uh, we'll wait uh, another year, and we'll breed Willow, and we'll wait uh, another nine months. So, um, hopefully there'll be a family milk cow in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> so, with all this wet and cold weather, um, these two guys are struggling a bit without a mother, without, without getting milk. Uh, so we're going to start them on uh, a bit of an organic dairy ration, uh, just to give them uh, a little bit more calories, try to get a little bit more uh, finish on them to just make it a little bit easier getting through this cold, wet weather. <laughs> So these guys have never had grain before, so they don't have a taste for it yet. So I'm gonna put a little bit of grain on top of their hay. Hopefully get them, uh, get them going on it here in the next day or two. Mm -hmm. 